Good morning. It is Tuesday, November 12th. So what I will be doing today is the bulk. I will be prepping my next batch of knives for heat treat. I got a bunch of the work done on Saturday. I'll basically finish that up and start cutting it. Um, hopefully Yake shows up today and he will help me cut out some of it, help me profile a little bit of it, um, and get moving on that. Uh, I will also be getting a handle on this one. We had a little issue with soldering uh, stainless steel. It's one of those things that's just not as easy to do as one might think with using a low temp uh, soldering solution. Uh, because we can't do high temp because it'll blow the temper of the knives. Um, even though it's better, so you have to use low temp stuff, and then there's just issues with doing it with stainless steel sometimes. Um, sometimes there's not an issue and just goes. Other times, eh. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again, and I'm going to do it a little differently, and then I will be drilling into this guy, so this will go farther in, and then I can drill and get it attached. So that's the bulk of what I'll be doing today. Have a great day. Good morning, it is Wednesday, November 13th. So I did a lot of scribing and profiling and cutting yesterday. So I got the bulk of the CPM profiled. Um, th these are the customs, have uh, four or five uh, CPM customs and then a bunch of stuff for stock. Um, a bunch of stuff for stock. And then we have pairing knives as well so these got cut but not profiled obviously that one's a little too small to be a pairing knife um, so I will be profiling most of today and then if I get done profiling I will be drilling which I will not get done with drilling if I get done with profiling there's just no way but one of the exciting things we're doing uh, again this holiday season is Last year we had a couple like really cool steels in stock, so we had some um, 52-100-410 laminate, um, and we have a little bit of that, so we'll have two Hanasukis out of that, but then we'll also have uh, a first ever for us, we'll have some M390, um, this one's for me, sorry, it's not for sale, I, I haven't made myself a knife in a long, long time, M390 is my favorite steel, that one's for me, um, but then we're also going to have a CPM S35VN. Um, this is a riff on Jacob's design. So we're gonna have one very similar to Jacob's design, and then this one, which is our riff on it, um, and then also a buoy out of S35VN, which is cool. And then uh, my, my, my favorite knife that we make, which is what I'm making for myself as well in the M390, we're making another one of those American Heritage Utilities in blue laminate so this is Hitachi blue I believe it's number two uh, so it's Aogami Super um, so we're making that in in a blue uh, so it'll have the laminate uh, like the 410 uh, 52100 laminate but in blue as the core and not uh, 52100 and it will also be doing a pairing knife in that same steel um, so Oh, oh, and, and then there's another steel. We have the, the, the proud return of the Z Finite. Um, you'll recognize the fillet knife from how many I've made thus far. Uh, I think it's up to four. Um, and then we, we got a, a shorter piece of steel, so we'll get a, a boning knife out of it, a shorter fillet knife. We'll see how it works out. Um, and then we'll need to order more stuff for longer, that full-size fillet knife that everyone has absolutely loved. So... That's what I got going for today. It'll be profiling, which is making a big mess, and then it'll be drilling, which is making a big mess. That's my day. Good morning, it is Thursday, November 14th. So what I will be doing today is a lot of drilling. I got a little bit of drilling done. Um, so this is the modified version of Jacob's uh, chef's knife, <coughs> where this one is uh, more true to form. Uh, a little deeper here, a little deeper here. Um, basically, the bar of steel I wanted to make this one out of. Uh, it wasn't, it didn't have enough uh, width to, to get the whole design out of, so we, we modified a little bit. But uh, this was actually quite different, and we made it very similar to that one because we thought that was the more comfortable handle. So those two were in progress, uh, got those drilled. Uh, my next personal carry knife, uh, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know I absolutely love the... American Heritage uh, utility knife that we make. So 
that one's for me out of M390, which is my favorite pocket knife steel. So we'll see how it does in a full blade steel. Um, then I got <clears throat> all the customs I have. I've got uh, a little paring knife, uh, this cool a little Gyoto. This is for a customer of ours' wife. Um, great size and shape. Um, our riff on a Tajiro Santoku, uh, as ordered by a customer, also a, a repeat customer. Um, and actually, all of these are from re repeat customers, come to think of it. So, uh, another bread knife I haven't done in, in a bit. Um, not, not true. I just did a really cool one not too long ago. And then a 12-inch companion slicer for uh, James McFarland of Revelry Barbecue here in town. He has a 14-inch one, so a little bit longer. He's getting a 12-inch one, and then he's also going to get a 10 uh, at some point in the future. So those are the customs I'm working on. Other cool stuff I decided to do, um, we don't have a buoy in stock. We, we're in Texas. It's just not acceptable. So I'm going to make a buoy, and that's out of a CPM S35VN. Uh, pretty cool stoked about that and then two just cool little Gyotos um, this one is very similar to the one for Seth uh, very minute changes and then this is a riff on a design I've done before um, just I'm starting to really hybridize the handles um, I've gotten a lot of handles I like recently and then but I like this little aspect of it more than that and customer feedback will help and so I'm starting to integrate more aspects of them so we'll have an issue naming them because it's a part of an M style part of this style and it's becoming this conglomerate handle so I'll figure out something to name it so we don't get confused on what type of handle it is so and very exciting one of our new brands is coming in today so we will be checking that order in and getting it on the wall very soon. So look out for a really cool announcement, probably Friday, maybe Saturday, of what brand we have coming. Talk to you then. Good morning, it is Saturday, November 16th. So Yake and I got all of the drilling done yesterday. I got the burrs knocked off and they're ready to be straightened. So all of the customs are done, as well as some things for fun. So this is uh, Jacob's design uh, and we got it drilled uh, burrs are knocked off and I am gonna make this one shiny so I'll take that up all the way through the grits uh, preheat treat and then there's a couple other ones I'm just excited about uh, some nice elegant Gyotos um, li little changes to what we've normally done um, so just excited about a couple of different knives I really like this one as well. We're, this is one for stock, but we're also making one of these for... Uh, this is a custom, excuse me, and we're making one for stock as well. Just really like that size and shape. It's, it's a great little knife. Uh, so that's what I... Uh, I'm going to continue working on these today. Uh, get them straightened, get them flattened, and figure out what polish is going to go on them, and then hopefully start grind lines. Uh, so that's my day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, November 13th, hour Tuesday. Gonna show you what was going on. I did not film yesterday, I apologize. Russell and I had a fairly busy day as far as information goes. Um, we also had a gentleman come in that we are going to be sponsoring for the Axe Throwing League. I'm not for sure how wide that is, but he should be on ESPN. So be on the lookout for our, our uh, hats out there. Um, but for today, I had to redo some uh, two of the bayonet scales, reroute them, get them all kind of fitted right they're fitting a lot better since i've done it four times now um but basically got them drilled up i'll be countersinking them tomorrow and then putting in the gulso bolts uh and then bringing them up to polish other than that that's what i've gotten done the majority of the day we had uh chef johnny from indigo come in we did a little work for him and uh that's pretty much it guys so other than that i will see you manana and tomorrow is a big special birthday for I, our guy gabriel so happy birthday dude uh, we will see you and celebrate you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Thursday, November 14th, our Wednesday, showing you what's going on in my realm today. Um, basically getting to work on these custom uh, steak knives and the mini cleaver. Was planning on drilling the bayonets today, but uh, Russell pretty much had it set up for his drilling of bridge holes. 
and then we got interrupted with a bunch of new inventory products so if you haven't checked it out uh, pretty soon we will be having some new stuff uh, up hopefully by the weekend if not by next week for sure uh, other than that I'm gonna be working on the bayonets and these uh, five knives for the rest of the, the remainder of the week so I would just be showing you progress on those and uh, I will show you more manana later guys Hey everyone, it is Friday, November 15th, our Thursday, showing you my progress. Um, had a little incident in the sharpening today, uh, cut my finger, and so this is why that's gloved up. But I basically got all the way through my 120 on these guys today. Um, I know that's a very slow process for me, but just with a couple of things that were going on, as well as the, the little cut I had, um, I got these at 120, so I'll be going to 220. Uh, tomorrow for sure and just doing my best to get these all nice and shined up for handles so that way I can do that in the bayonets all at the same time uh, I know that's not much to show you guys but that's all I've got for today I will see you manana hey everyone it's Saturday the 16th our Friday showing you what's going on in my world today um, I'm gonna be leaving a little early so this one's gonna be kind of short uh, fairly short I should say um, but basically got these guys up to the 400 grit that I wanted to right before buffing. Um, I did it along with the cleaver, but I buffed the cleaver. So uh, I was actually really impressed with the Norex belt I've been using. It's been doing a really good job of keeping a machine finish and doing a nice, even, homogenous set of lines. So I've got the, uh, the cleaver right here, and as you can see... It pretty much looks flawless. Now, I know a lot of people go, well, that looks like mirror. You could polish it up. No. After I took it onto the buffer, it just, it really kept these lines nice and crisp and just kept them flowing the way they were supposed to. And um, I've said it, you know, numerous times since before I filmed it. I'm saying it now. But I was really impressed with that belt. So, other than that, everyone... The goal tomorrow, uh, Tuesday will be to get the steak knives buffed, and once that's uh, done, get all the handles on them, and along with the bayonets worked on. So by Tuesday, I should be getting a lot of that taken care of. Everyone have a good weekend, and we will see you then. Hey guys, Steven here, and it's Tuesday, and um, what I've been working on lately is a custom. I've got my hands right here. Um, this guy is pretty much done. All I need to do is make the Kydex transporter for it and send it out to the customer. Um, that's not a big deal. I'll have that done probably tomorrow. Get it out. Um, cool thing about this knife, this handle actually. This is one of our uh, Hanatsuki, Kiritsuki designs that we do. Excuse me if I get confused about them. Um, but this handle right here is actually stabilized zebra molars, zebra teeth. Um, and they're a fairly hard material to work with as I learned throughout this whole process. They're difficult to cut, difficult to grind. They're just kind of a pain. But they look cool. Um, I'm going to see if we can use more of this in the future and maybe find an easier way to work with it. But yeah, this knife is basically ready to go. It just needs a quick edge on it as well. But other than that, that's all I've got for you guys today. And I'll see you guys next time. One. Hey guys, it's Wednesday here. And um, it's getting kind of cold around. Our new leather shop doesn't have any kind of heat yet. So it's kind of, I mean, it's not kind of, it really is cold. Uh, but what I've got to show you guys today is another custom that I'm working on. Um, this is a cool little recurve hunter. Um, I'm going to make more of these. I know I say that a lot about a lot of the knives I come up with, but this one is quickly becoming one of my favorites. Um, it took a nice polish and everything. This is our CPM 154 stainless. This is actually an oak handle that the customer provided us from um, his childhood home. We do things like this quite often. People will bring us mesquite, oak. Um, things like that. We'll send it out to get stabilized and we'll put it on knives for them. And it's one of the, one of the many fun processes that we do. Um, I actually enjoy working with that kind of thing. I enjoy taking some of people's history and putting it on a knife that they can enjoy and pass down to their, um, to their kids and grandkids and just have it last through the generations. It's one of the fun things about being here at Serenity Knives that we get to do. Um, this knife is going to have a fantasy design sheath. Um, what kind of fantasy design, I don't know yet. I'm going to spend the next few days brainstorming over that. Uh, when customers kind of give me free reign, it usually takes a long time for me to come up with something that not only suits the knife, but suits the customer as well. And I've done some cool things in the past, so I'm looking forward to collaborating with the customer on this, seeing what he likes, what he doesn't like, and what I can come up with 
with those parameters. Um, as you can see, I'm filming from our leather new leather room for like the second time this week. Uh, we're going to, in the future, have a permanent filming station up here. Um, I'm just trying to get used to it. It's a, it's a transition as everything is when you move to a new spot. And that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys next time. One. Hey guys, Thursday, and I'm um, sorry, I just saw some customers coming up from our new leather shop. It's uh, my new perch that I can see customers from now, which is kind of awesome. When the guys need me downstairs, they just kind of bang on the floor, and I can hear them up here. Um, but yeah, it's Thursday, and I've been working on some prototypes a customer provided us. He wanted us to grind them and put handles on. And so the first one here is a dagger. Um, the handle is roughed up and ugly. I'll get to that sometime Saturday. Maybe I can get it cleaned up. Um, but daggers. Daggers are probably one of the more difficult things to grind in knife making. Right along next to like compound grinds and recurves and all that. And it's something I've gotten good at over the years. I made it a point to practice and practice and practice and practice more with daggers. Um, and grinding daggers and get proficient at it because it's so difficult to do. And it's one of the, the knife styles I enjoy doing the most. It's challenging and it's fun. It's really hard to get symmetry on both sides. Uh, I did it pretty well on this one. And I hope the customer enjoys it. I'm looking forward to making more daggers in the future. Uh, not this design. This is a proprietary design to the customer. But I'm going to do maybe some smaller ones. Uh, I do like this blade length. And I'm going to toy with, um, with some handle options on that as well. I'm not going to be able to get them done by Christmas, but maybe uh, in the first of the new year, I'll have at least a few daggers on, on hand in stock for us. But until then, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, Steven here, and it's Saturday. Um, it's a short day for me. I'm only going to be here for a couple of hours today. Um, I've spent most of my time just doodling and drawing for the sheath. Um, I showed you guys earlier in the week a sheath for this, um, our custom, and it's got me stumped, really. I spent the last couple days doodling and a few minutes every few minutes before we leave and I haven't been able to come up with anything I'm hoping the customer can give me some more insight on that pretty soon but um, he's got plenty of time I think his deadline is Christmas and we're still a long ways out from that um, in the meantime we're still taking some Christmas orders uh, my books are not full but I've got a few spots left uh, I think Daniel and Russell are pretty full, but I'd have to ask them that. But um, yeah, if you guys see this video and you need something by Christmas, come in, consult us, ask us, and we'll be able to tell you if we can get it done or not. Chances are, if it's only a few people, we'll say yes. Uh, we have done Christmas rush jobs in the past. Um, one very awesome Christmas for us is we were selling knives before they were even finished. Um, people would come in, they'd see us working on something, and they'd say, I want that. And we'd get it done in the next three days, which was lightning speed for us at the time. And it's still lightning speed. Especially, um, I'm a part-timer. Daniel and Russell are full-time. But, I mean, getting a knife done in three days is a lot of work. Especially when you're working in batches that are a dozen or two dozen knives. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping we get a cool Christmas like that again. And that's all I got for you guys today. I don't have much to show you. Like I said, I've been doing most of the day. So, um, I'll see you guys next week.